Good day guys, nice to have you here. Today we will tackle a game where I played Hilda as a jungler. Same as always, we'll discuss some tips, tricks and strategies that will certainly help you play the game better. I'll also share some of the mistakes I made and what we can learn from it, so make sure to stay tuned. And of course, if you'd like me to upload more videos like this, consider leaving a like, share and if you haven't yet, subscribe. Also, I want to give my shoutouts to... PLXS channel and BC official. They too hosts YouTube channels, so make sure to give them some love. When playing as a jungler, if your hero is powerful in the early game, I strongly suggest invading right away. In order for this to be successful, remember to hover over both purple and red buffs. Even if you can't see the enemies, their attacks should make a sound or noise, which will give you an idea which place to invade. Also, in my opinion, the only time that it's not a very good idea to invade on set up the game is when you are playing junglers such as Sun and Argus which are both late game heroes. Also, notice that the tank leashed Hilda. This can be a great idea sometimes, but it would have been better if the tank secured the Little Wanderer instead. Since Gushan and Hylos chose to take the purple buff first, that was the only logical and efficient way they can take. If Lolita helped chang -e take the Little Wanderer, Gushan would have been greatly gapped and we will gain better vision around the river. This is also why I believe this is the age of the tanky junglers, especially Hilda since she is good both in the early and is still pretty formidable even on the late game. She wants to protect. Out of fear that Luyi will take the purple buff, I used Retribution on the purple buff, which I shouldn't have done since we were planning on getting the turtle. In addition to that, Lolita should have checked the other bushes as well. Remember what I always tell you in one of our other videos before check the perimeter whenever you or your allies are planning on taking the turtle. I also had so much faith in chang -e, but her ultimate was a bit off position and was too late which is why instead of overwhelming the enemy and giving us complete victory in that clash, Lolita and I died. Good news is Natalia was able to clear the remaining scraps. In the end, our team still had the upper hand. This, I believe, is what makes Hilda extremely powerful now. In the past, she was only very good against squishy heroes, but now, even tanky heroes, especially those with very high HP pulls such as Hylos, are at her mercy. This was completely my fault. There really was no reason for me to play aggressively in that part. The worst part is none of our allies were around to help us. This is one of my bad habits with Hilda. I have a tendency to overextend when playing her. The good news is we were able to get a huge lead because of our aggressiveness earlier which is why even after taking the turtle, the enemies are still far behind in terms of gold. A warrior strength comes the from enemy the has slain the Never ever take a kill that's inconvenient. Some players travel far just to get a kill. When you're playing as a jungler, efficiency is very important. Clear the jungle camps you can and as much as possible gank enemies that are conveniently located close by instead of selecting a target that is out of way. Icefield warriors, don't bring shame upon our ancestors' glory. It has been 
been destroyed. Ice Cream Warrior, don't bring shame upon our enemy. You have slain an enemy. I chose Festival of Blood for this game since we're up against some enemies which can last longer in battle and I needed to make sure that we will have enough survivability in order to outlast them. I also placed all of my emblem points in physical attack and physical penetration for that juicy burst damage. Also, I normally use high and dry if I'm playing Hilda as a solo laner. As a jungler though, a larger portion of the clashes may involve two or more enemies which may render HAD with less use. You can also get tenacity when the enemies have so much burst damage or when you are playing as a roaming support. Warrior to give life to the thing she wants to protect. And then, these were the items I chose. Tough boots to lessen the effects of control abilities, Malefic Roar to further improve the physical defense penetration especially for ultimate. I also believe Malefic Roar is Hilda's core item. Then, Lit up the spare for that tremendous extra physical attack. Also, because of how Hilda's skill set is now designed, usually her ultimate is meant as an execution skill. Blade up the spare makes it almost a guaranteed kill when using her ultimate with max stacks on a hero with less than 50% of HP. Then Athena's shield for magic damage in general, especially for short bursts of damage from Lu Yi and Gushan. Radiant Armor is tremendously useful in this game since four of their heroes have continuous magic attacks or magic damage, which means it's very easy to max out this item stacks. And finally, Immortality due to obvious reasons. For Retribution, I used Ice Retribution in order to slow down the enemies in order to secure a kill. Hilda is, however, extremely flexible. You can choose any type of Retribution and she is still going to be extremely effective. It just boils down on your own preferences and playstyle. As I said earlier, kills isn't the key to victory. The key to victory is efficiency and objectives. Since my allies got killed on the bottom lane, that means I have a bit of time to secure the second mid lane turret. Always make sure that you take advantage of that situation. I love how Zilong is trying to lure me to his allies. It's like a fish luring a fisherman towards more fishes. Nice. In some situations, it's a wise idea to retreat as soon as you secure a major objective such as the turtle and the lord. Well, I agree that we would have won that clash if Mia attacked as well, but still, it was not a good idea for us to sustain the clash. We should have retreated and cleared out the lanes in preparation for the lord's arrival instead. Again guys, if you see enemy minions advancing beyond this line, it's best clearing them out first. People who take the side lanes for granted are the usual victims of epic comebacks. You have slain an enemy! For ah! need my answer. I think Luya's dead body just got teleported. Is that what they mean by fast food? Your team destroyed the turret! The warrior of our turret has been destroyed! You are already dead!
that concludes our Mobile Legends game guide for today. If you guys have anything else to add, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, everyone. Peace.